In tonight's Healthier Me, more runners are hitting the pavement, gearing up for summer races, but an injury can stop athletes in their tracks. And Valley News Team's Macy Enger tried out a four-step process to get runners back on their feet and prevent injuries from happening again. Sure, and okay. what normative values are and what we're looking for. Emily Scorey plays and soccer and cross upright. country, but after two stress fractures, she wanted to try something different. At first I had pain and I was like, oh, whatever, it's normal, but kind of overdid it and I regret that. They're easy to diagnose the symptoms because that's what they complain about, complain of knee pain, shin splints, hip pain. It's a lot more difficult to diagnose what's causing the pain. Scory came through the Sanford Runners Clinic, where injured athletes go through a personal history test, video analysis, physical exam, and receive a treatment plan. Have them start running on the treadmill five or 10 minutes and just let them go. And once their injury starts coming or their pain starts coming on, then we start filming. It's part of the video analysis, a test I took on to see what I might be doing wrong when running. While I hit the treadmill, cameras fed data to a computer, capturing 100 frames per second. Your knee is not in front of the toe, oh. which is good. Oh, that's the good. <laughs> if the knee is in front, it could be due to calf weakness. Okay. Turns out that I actually need to lean forward slightly when running to avoid injuries. Even though I gave it a try, the clinic is for runners already injured, like Emily. At first I thought I like ran normal, but after like looking at the footage and having it slowed down, you can really see like things that needs to be like worked on. So her symptoms were in her right lower leg, but the problem then we found was in her left anterior hip flexor being so tight. For Scory, she kept up with her exercises over a year and can now score a goal without pain. Macy Inger, Valley News Live. The physical therapist also says that shoes are a huge part in avoiding injuries. When finding the right fit, make sure it does fit correctly and that it lays flat on the ground rather than flaring out.